own chicken. <laughs> So I am here at one of Bangkok's most famous fried chicken places. Now for a city that's famous for fried chicken, that's a really big deal. I love coming here. The chicken itself, crispy and golden, there's all that fried garlic. For 60 years, Soy Polo has been frying up its beloved chicken and three generations of the family have kept the tradition alive. It's a Southern Thai style of fried chicken, distinctive because of the fried garlic on top. The exact recipe is a tightly held secret, but the owner was so lovely and she told me a few of her grandmother's tips, which was to fry without any flour and at a temperature that crisps up the skin without burning it before the chicken is cooked through. Okay, so with those little pointers, I'm gonna go away and try this myself. There's flavor right through the chicken meat. It's beautifully soft and tender. The skin is really crisp. I think what makes this place really special is all of this beautiful crispy fried garlic that's on the top here. Bank, you better come in here, have a look at this before I eat it all. I came all the way from Australia to eat this. <laughs> okay, so that chicken was next level amazing. If you're in Bangkok, you need to head to Soy Polo Fried Chicken. But if you're not, what can you do? Well, I've got a little recipe for you. Let's make my version of crispy garlic fried chicken. I think what made the Soy Polo Chicken so special was the flavor, but also the texture of the chicken. So we're gonna start off with flavor first and I'm gonna make a marinade. I wanna start off with some garlic, some black peppercorns and some white peppercorns. Now you might be asking me, why do I need both types? Well, for me, the black peppercorns have a real heat and spice about them, very harsh kind of like spiced heat. Whereas the white peppercorns have a much more, I don't know, kind of like elegant pepper flavor. So I like the combination of both, so I'm doing both. Just give that a light pound. Now I'm gonna keep pounding until I've got a rough texture here, just like this. And here's my chicken. So I have chosen to go with Chicken Maryland. That's the legs and thighs. You guys know I love legs and thighs. The garlic and pepper, soy sauce, along with my fish sauce and some salt. And then here in Thailand, this is a seasoning sauce we use a lot. We call it Maggi. So it's like a seasoning sauce, sort of like a soy sauce, but I feel like it's like a little bit sweeter. In Australia, we often say Maggi. So Maggi, Maggi, whatever you want to call it. Now you're probably thinking that's a lot of soy sauce and salt and seasoning. Because I want maximum flavor and maximum tenderness here, I want to leave this to marinate for at least two hours. Now, if you guys are regular watchers of my channel, you might have seen Fried Chicken Test Kitchen, where I tested out exactly the right amount of time that you need to brine your chicken in order to get the best flavor and the best tenderness. The two hour timing was perfect because I don't think it was worth it to wait the 24 hours. So there you go. To make my version of like a tangy fried chicken chili sauce, I'm gonna go with some fresh red chilies, some dried small chilies that I've chopped up, some garlic, fish sauce, white vinegar, sugar, salt, and some water. I'm gonna simmer that on the stove top for around about six or seven minutes until the sugar's dissolved and the sauce is kind of thickened up just a little bit. Pour that out into a bowl and just let it cool down. To make the crispy garlic, which I think was one of the things that made the soy polo chicken so delicious, I need to pound up a whole lot of garlic. Now I like to leave the skins on here because the skins give you an added crispy texture once they're fried up. So I just kind of like roughly pound the garlic. I don't want to pound it to a paste. I just kind of want this sort of texture. I'm gonna season the garlic with a little bit of salt. Heat up your oil in a nice large wok. And then once that oil is hot, I'm gonna add my garlic in and then just keep moving it around the oil. Make sure the oil's not too hot, otherwise the garlic will burn. Once it gets to that golden kind of color, use a spider to scoop all of that delicious crispy garlic up and then pop it out onto a tray lined with paper just to drain away the excess oil. Season with a little bit more salt. And I mean, listen to the sound of that garlic. Oh, it's so crispy, how exciting. Here is our chicken, suitably flavored and tender. This is gonna be good, my friends. I'm so excited. Before I fry the chicken though, there is one very technical, but very small detail here that you need to do. Liquid is always gonna be your enemy when it comes to anything crispy and crunchy. And I wanna have some really super crispy chicken skin going on. Take some extra paper towel and really try and dry off that chicken skin. 
So now let's fry the chicken, my favorite part. I love frying chicken. <laughs> so I have my oil nice and hot here. I don't want it too hot. These are big pieces of chicken. So about 170 Celsius is good. So you just like a light sizzling sound there, nothing too harsh. And then just let it cook, move it around a little bit in the oil until it's beautifully golden brown. Mine took about 12 minutes. Okay, here we are. Don't look away now. This is the exciting part. Oh my goodness, look at this chicken. Look at the color. That's so good. Oh, this brings me so much joy. Wow, 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 wow. A little bit of salt. Okay, a little appreciation moment here for this chicken. Look at that color. I mean, it's amazing and it's so crispy, but don't take my word for it. Let's do the test, the sound test. I mean, the greatest symphonies couldn't compete with that sound. Just have a look here. We've got that crispy skin, but then also right through that chicken meat. It's super juicy. Ah, oh, wow, look at that. Amazing. Okay, let's pile up our chicken. And finally, we want to put our garlic on top. Oh, all of those crispy, crunchy sounds. And there you go, my friends. Inspired by one of Bangkok's most beloved fried chicken restaurants. My version though, probably not quite the same as Soy Polo's, but definitely a very easy version for you to try at home. And I hope you do try it because it's really good. Into my sauce. Wow. Well, that's very satisfying. The crunch, oh my goodness, that skim. The chicken itself is so juicy and there's so much flavor right through that chicken. It's amazing. The sauce is like tangy and sweet, a little different to the soy polo version, but I am loving this version of fried chicken. If you're in Bangkok, I would highly recommend getting to Soy Polo. Their chicken is amazing. But if you can't get here, this is a very, very good substitute. Mm.